Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to day five of learning to program in Ruby. Today we're going to be learning the dot split method. So go ahead and open your Ruby editor and the first thing I want you to create is a variable. So let's make our variable rock bottom equals Mary Kate Olson Lindsay Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen go ahead to the next line then we're going to put the variable rock bottom we're going to end it and save it save it as tiger underscore blood and open your command prompt with Ruby pull in tiger's blood so we have Mary Kate Olson, Lindsay Lohan, and Charlie Sheen. Now, if we know anything about these celebrities, we know that they like to have their own lines and they like to have as many lines as possible. So let's make each one of them have a line for each name instead of being all in the same line. We'll minimize that. And we're going to do dot split. And then save. So we've done dot split right after the puts uh, rock bottom. And re pull that back in. And hit enter. So now Mary Kate has three lines, Lindsay Lohan has two, and Charlie Sheen has two lines to himself as well. So what dot split does is it just creates a new line for each, uh, every space it tell it is going to put a new line, create a new line. Now that's because we didn't target anything. And we can actually target specific elements within here. So let's do a date real quick. So we're gonna create a variable called date and on this one I want you to pay close attention because I'm going to make a mistake and I want you to see if you if if you can catch it before we actually pull it into the uh, Ruby command prompt so let's create our variable called date and we're going to make the date 11 17 2013 and then we're going to do puts variable date dot split and then we want to target these forward slashes because we want each part of the date to be on its own line so what we're going to do is parentheses quote forward slash and that targets now I have already put in the error and so if you can catch it good then you've been paying attention so let's go ahead and save it. Then pull up the start command prompt with Ruby. And pull it in. And hit enter. So let's see if we can find out what we did wrong here. It's given us a feedback that says undefined method date for main. So we need to come back here and figure out what is not being defined. So we have puts date and it is telling us that date is not defined yet and if we come up here we see that the date is actually not set to the 11 17 2013 because we forgot the equals symbol so just put that there then go, then resave it and pull it in mm -hmm. And hit enter and now we have it 
11 17 2013 we've targeted each one of these and we can actually just target an individual so we could do puts date and we talked about this in the previous lesson do your square brackets and then put in two hit save pull it in hit enter 11 17 2013 and then we had it put the second character or the second character listed but because we start at zero it goes zero one two so the two is the second one is the forward slash and what if we wanted to target multiple items so if we wanted to target the month and the day but not the year we would do puts date square brackets and zero dot dot four and so that's going to be zero one two three four that's what it'll include so we hit save pull it back in and it gives us 11 17 there's actually another way to write this though and that is to do puts dates square bracket zero three dots and five and what that does is it does everything up to the fifth character but it doesn't include the fifth character now here it does include the fourth character because we've typed that in but if we were to change that to a five then hit save and pull that in hit enter on this first one it does include the fifth character and on the second one it doesn't include the fifth character so those are two differences there three dots versus two dots in the next episode we're going to be going over a new element type and it's called an array an array is like a string except it holds multiple strings within it so multiple objects type array underscore families equal square brackets quotations Brady outside of the quotation put a comma space quotation partridge again comma outside of, of the quotations new quotation Bundy if you don't know who Bundy is Bundy I probably should have chose Cosby, but I like Married with Children, so I chose Bundy. Bundy is just the last name of the family from Married with Children. Type puts below that array underscore families file or just save it. Open the command prompt with Ruby and pull in Tiger's Blood. hit enter all right you can see that it gave us all the original stuff we put in but now it's doing the show that a little bit better the array families equal Brady Partridge and Bundy we had it puts array families and it's put each one of these equally so it's treated each one of these like a new element and so it put each one on its own line Hope that makes sense. We're going to go over it in way more detail in the next episode. I don't want to cover too much because we've already covered a lot in this episode. But you will learn more about that. So go ahead and click the next episode and we'll see you there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Oh, look, you're still here. Well, I guess I can give a recommendation for this week. Check out the Ruby Rogues podcast. I've been listening to these guys for a long time, and they've got awesome advice. 
Here's the website. I'll put a link to the website down below in the description. I just think these guys are great. They talk about more advanced stuff and the industry, but really honestly, you need to be immersing yourself in the community and just hearing, there's a lot of terms that they'll say that you won't know about, but you'll just keep hearing those terms over and over again. And then eventually when you come up to that vocabulary, it's going to stick with you a lot easier. They also have picks and they choose kind of what their favorite things are for the week. And they have um, all the episodes right here on their website. So it's great. You can start from the very beginning and you can go all the way through. That's my recommendation for the week.